从阻断地下水到大罐存储，乃至砂浆固化，每一个提案都十分清晰明了，都足以改变将核污染水排入大海的最终结果。那么，日本政府和东京电力公司对这些看似简单易行的方案，为什么视而不见，不予回应呢？ The official website of the Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry provides this explanation. Decommissioning of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant is a major prerequisite for the revitalization of Fukushima. However, there are already over 1,000 massive storage tanks on site, leading to concerns about a lack of space. 東電と政府は貯蔵スペースがないからもう出さなければいけないというふうに言ってるんですけれども貯蔵スペースがないというのは、えー、デブリを取り出して保管する場所を作らなければいけないのでもう場所がないというふうに説明をしているんですねでもデブリはあの取り出せるかどうかなんていうことは今全くわからないのでわからないものわからないものの設備を先に作らなきゃいけないというのは説明としては合理性がないように僕は感じているんですで福島の汚染水も早く流したい消したいでそのまま置いといても陸上保管してもあるいはモルタル化してもずっと残るわけですよでこれ本当に残るってのはいいことだと思うんですよやっぱり負の遺産なん福島という間違ったことをしてしまったそのモニュメントをそのまま残すっていうのは次の世代が学ぶっていうのは非常に大事だと思うんだけども。What do you think is the reason why TEPCO refused to expand storage? If you were to commit to storage, you'd basically be saying, actually, we don't have a solution. We have to store this waste. And that would open up a whole new discussion, which needs to happen. In 2011, the Japanese government were asked, how long will it take to deal with this disaster? The, the reference of 30 to 40 years was used. And that's effectively become a sort of mantra that's repeated. It's not based on any real technical understanding. They still are learning every day. They're learning about the crisis at the Fukushima Daiichi plant, and they've got a lot more to learn. When we consider all the conditions of Fukushima, how do you think about the agenda? Do you think they're kind of rushing it too much? So there is a, a mythology that's being created over these last 10 years or more that it is possible to recover fully from a triple reactor nuclear meltdown. So the time frame that's given by the Japanese government, by 2040 to 2050, the entire Fukushima Daiichi site, the reactors, the nuclear waste, everything will be removed from the site and removed from Fukushima Prefecture. There's no basis for that. They really don't know what's going to happen with the Fukushima Daiichi plant over time. So in your opinion, what should they do? What's your suggestion? The Japanese government, if it was to be honest with the people in Japan and the wider international community, it would say, actually, we don't have a solution to the Fukushima Daiichi plant. And we have to take a step back and think again. なぜ海洋放出は廃炉のプロセスの中で重要な一環ですかね、まあ、政府が何を考えてるのかなあのやっぱりそのデブリを取り出す廃炉ね、えー、そして福島は終わったんだということをアピールすることができる。から汚染水の存在もなくして海洋放出によってね要するに福島のなんていうかな先ほども言ったけども負の遺産である汚染水の存在そのものを消し去ってしまうわけですよね流すことによってで福島を忘れさせてしまう人々の記憶からでまた次の再稼働に向かっていくという